Niantic has been making a lot of boneheaded decisions lately, and when it comes to the Pokemon Go community, they are absolutely livid and they are fed up with how Niantic is treating them as a community, as well as Pokemon Go itself. This is something that I wish I did not have to talk about, but I do think that we've kind of reached our boiling point as a community, and a lot of the things that Niantic is choosing to do when it comes to this game needs to be addressed right now. That's what I'm going to be talking about in this video. A lot of this is going to be fueled by the recent controversies regarding the pandemic bonuses, so expect me to kind of rant about that as well. But in any case, yeah, let's roll the intro and get right into it. How's it going everyone? It's me, it's Count, here with a brand new Pokemon Go discussion video. Today we're going to be talking about Niantic's recent decisions to retract some of the pandemic bonuses that we've been enjoying over the past couple of years. This is of course not my first video on the topic, but now that Niantic has gone through with these retractions, I do have a lot of thoughts that I wanted to share. Obviously, the most notable retraction is in regards to Pokestop interaction distances. They completely nerfed it to the ground to what it was before the pandemic and naturally I can understand why Niantic would want to do this but that reason is not good enough for the amount of damage that they're doing to the Pokemon Go community as well as Pokemon Go as a game itself. By my personal experiences I actually went out and played Pokemon Go for a little bit after the pandemic bonuses were retracted and I have to tell you it was a miserable experience. Not only did the game feel completely nerfed to the ground, I also felt like my experiences were just a bit archaic that we are going back to a time where the game was just a lot less enjoyable. Obviously, the biggest difference that I felt was in relation to the Pokestop and Gym Distance interaction. I found myself having to walk extra distances and going closer to heavily populated areas and even to areas where I wasn't allowed because the interaction distance was cut in half. These were a lot of the issues with Pokemon Go before the pandemic, and after this pandemic bonus was introduced into the game, it was a huge quality of life improvement for Pokemon Go as a whole, but it seems like Niantic completely missed that. They did not realize that even though this bonus was meant to be temporary, what they ended up doing was actually something really beneficial for the game. It just seems to me that Niantic is completely off the mark here. They just do not have their ears to the ground and they are just so completely disconnected from the community because everyone has been saying this for the past couple of months, especially after Niantic announced that they were going to be retracting some of these bonuses. They just did not seem to care that the entire community was voicing their concerns with this decision. A lot of players have been saying for the past couple of months that this would be a very terrible move for Pokemon Go. And yet Niantic wanted to double down and they decided to retract these bonuses anyway. Now do I think every single one of the pandemic bonuses should remain in Pokemon Go? No, I actually do not think so. But because Niantic had implemented these changes and players got used to them over the past couple of years, I mean, it just really was something beneficial for Pokemon Go. And especially for people who are currently stuck in lockdowns, they're able to freely access a lot more features of Pokemon Go as a result. But rather listening to the community, they've adopted this very toxic mindset that they know what's best for their players. You think you do, but you don't. Obviously, there are going to be cases where the game designer is going to be correct in certain decisions, but when it comes to this particular decision, I highly disagree. What Niantic did here is effectively kill a lot of the enjoyment out of this game. When it came to the increased distance for Pokestop and gym interactions, it was a huge quality of life improvement. I really felt like I was able to do a lot more with Pokemon Go, and I was able to engage with the game a lot more. But because Niantic is completely out of touch with the community, they just simply do not know that the community absolutely wanted this to stay. And in fact, I would argue and say that this is something that was a bit of a greedy decision. I mentioned in my previous video that this could be fueled by a potential subscription service that is coming to Pokemon Go, that they would rather add this as something you would have to pay for, or it's because of Pokestops and gyms being sponsored by different companies. 
As I'm sure you're aware, there's plenty of new Pokestops and new gyms that were spawned into Pokemon Go from Verizon and a lot of other sponsors, and I'm pretty sure they want to increase the amount of foot traffic for these locations so that they can negotiate more sponsorship money out of these companies. And yes, I'm pretty frustrated by all of this because as a Pokemon Go player, I don't want to be seen as just another data point. I want my experience to matter when it comes to Pokemon Go so that any improvements they make to the game is catered towards my experience. Rather than them trying to make extra money from sponsored stops and subscription services, I would rather them care more about my experience so that I could reward them with in-game purchases. And sure, maybe their bottom line is going to be a lot higher if they were to cater to sponsors, but honestly, it's not going to matter if people are not going to be playing their game as a result of these decisions. It doesn't matter how many sponsors they can get money from if players are not even playing their game. I mean, how can they negotiate with sponsors for more money if players are not even playing their game as a result of their decisions? They've been seeing huge declines in Pokemon Go over the past couple of years, and they saw huge increases as a result of these pandemic bonuses. So I cannot understand why they do not see that and they would rather go back to archaic times where these bonuses did not exist because a lot of players are actually enjoying the game a lot more because of these bonuses. And once they take away these bonuses, yeah, a lot of players are going to be fed up with the design of this game and they're not going to want to play. So yeah, I really feel like us as a community has kind of reached our boiling point unless Unless there is a philosophical shift in Niantic and they correct a lot of these decisions, I cannot see the game having a lot more longevity. I mean, when it comes to Pokemon Go, yes, they are experiencing a lot of success recently, but a lot of that success could be short-lived if they do not retract some of these terrible decisions. I want this game to last for several years, but because of Niantic's decisions, I really am concerned that this game will not experience the longevity that it deserves. There will be other games that come out that are very similar to Pokemon Go, and they are not going to suffer from some of the same design decisions, and it's going to perform a lot better. Even for people who are fans of Pokemon, they're going to find other games that they can enjoy and spend their time and resources into. And when it comes to the recent decisions to retract these pandemic bonuses, I really do think Niantic needs to reconsider because my experiences are pretty much shared by all the people that I'm talking with. It's a miserable time to play Pokemon Go right now. The game feels absolutely terrible and I just cannot understand why Niantic would do this. But in any case, yeah, of course, this is a really hot topic issue. So I would love to know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Let's have a great discussion. Are you absolutely frustrated by this. Would you like to get your voices heard by Niantic as much as I do? Please let me know down below. And yeah, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe if it's your first time here, and make sure you share this video with your friends. I'm Count Jinsula, be safe, have fun, and I'll catch you all later.